first geographer's cut video where I will be looking at uh, Danny McCaskill's The Ridge video, uh, a mountain biking trails video where he goes to the Cullen Mountains in Scotland and rides across some amazing glacier to features. So there he is, there's Danny uh, on a boat, not a bike at the moment, and he's coming in to Loch Scavag, um, coming towards the, the shore. Now, Loch Scavag is a, actually a fjord, we can see, which is very similar to a ribbon lake, um, but you get them formed um, at uh, at sea level. So we can see there, we can see those steep sided and we've got this glaciated U-shaped valley, a lowland erosional landscape and he's coming towards uh, the shoreline to ride into the Cullen Mountains which you can see up there in the clouds and we're going to see some absolutely amazing or gnarly if you uh, want to use mountain bike speak, um, glaciated landforms. So here he is. You know, there you go, he's got his Santa Cruz 5010cc carbon fiber mountain bike in the back of his boat. Uh, not sure whether the boat is carbon fiber, looks like it's wood to me, but we'll see. So there he is, he's pulling up to the shore. All right, I hope you're going to tie that boat up, Danny, because if you don't, how are you going to get back? Because it's going to be a long ride home if you don't tie up your boat. No, he's not going to tie up his boat. All right, yeah. If you knew a bit about longshore drift, he would tie up his boat. So can any hope, Danny, that your boat's going to be there when you get back? Right, let's get on to it. So glaciated landforms. So we're in the Isle of Skye, which is where Danny uh, McCaskill grew up. And in the background there, you can see some scree. Scree is being formed by freeze-thaw weathering. Now, freeze-thaw weathering has continued after the ice ages, but we can see those glacial troughs, those steep sides, the flat bottom, uh, the valley there that is being created by glaciation uh, 10,000 to 50,000 years ago. There you go, now come on, that that beats some of these year 10 boys with their little wheelies come through the car park, doesn't it? Uh, we can see on, as he goes over some of these rocks, we can see some scratches, some marks, which are known as striations. Striations are where material carried on the bottom of the glacier scratches and scours uh, the rocks beneath it and actually shows us the direction that the, the ice was moving. Look at that, that was a classic glaciated valley we saw down there. Now look at this, we're now walking on the Aret and Danny McCaskill there now, he's heading off on this Aret. We can see this jagged rock showing that freeze thaw weathering's taking place and either side of that Aret, obviously we're gonna have those corries which were formed as rotational slip, moved the ice, allowing plucking to happen on the back wall and abrasion to happen inside, creating a classic armchair feature that we can see as the camera pans over. And there you go, we got that, that jagged, sharp aret with the steep sides. And again, Dan, if you look to the, to the left there, or the right there, sorry, you can see some scree, some material at the base of the cliff. Right, and scree down the slopes as well, because as I said, freeze thaw weather is continuing to take place in the Cullen Mountains because temperatures do drop quite low. Yeah, the rock is so jagged by freeze thaw weather, you know, you know, he's, he's lucky he's not going to get any punches, uh, you know, that sort of rock type. And there he goes, he's starting to climb up because he wants to show off the pyramidal peak we have in the Cullen Mountains and one of the peaks. And if you remember, Pyramidal Peak, three corries have eroded back to back, creating a sharp pointed ridge. Uh, Danny McCaskill is climbing up, bike in hand, just to show off, just for us. I'm sure he just made this video just to show off the glaciated landscapes. There you go. Now, if you could cycle like Danny McCaskill, you know, I would, I would climb the ridge and just sit there on my bike. Look at that landforms. Look at those land landscapes there below, guys. Look at the the arets. We can see the pyramidal peak there. We can see the glaciated valleys um, either side. Uh, look at that that sharp ridge, that sharp arete. Again, so we can see some scree down the slopes there. We can see the cut form, the corry form there, the arms. So now it hasn't got the tarn, which you know some some of you have come to expect in some of the classic ones like red tarn in Helvellyn but it's still a quarry. Now, 
again, riding that arete. We can see those glaciated valleys, corries either side there, steep sides, steep back wall, abrasion and plucking taking place to deepen those over time during those, those periods um, during the Ice Age. And we're now heading down the valley, you know, into those lowland glaciated valleys now. Again, you can see those scratches. Remember, I talked about those striations in the rock to show the direction that the, the ice had flowed during the last ice age. Again, those steep sided U shaped glaciated valleys. Look at that nice and open, flat bottom, steep sides. Oh, and look at this. This is a treat. We can see some drumlins, those elongated egg shaped hills. Um, that are pointing it in the direction that the glacier has moved during the last ice age. What a treat that was. So you've got a bit of depositional glaciated lands forms as well as the erosion ones that we've seen in the rest of the video. Oh, look at that spectacular finish. Oh, where's your boat? Told you. Longshore drift, you should have tied up your boat. So. It's going to have a long time now thinking about glaciated erosional landforms that you've seen. But, you know, obviously, hopefully you've got a mobile signal, Danny, because, you know, you've lost your boat. So quickly, quick recap. We're looking at the Cullens there. Glaciated area in the, in the Isle of Skye in Scotland. Uh, we can see that Danny McCaskill came in um, through Loch Scavig and then he was riding around uh, the hills here. And we can see they've got those classic steep sides, flat bottoms. See the lock here, that is a classic ribbon lake. Here we've got a classic ribbon lake. There you go. Look at that word there, Corrie. We've got Corries there. And you look at the, the contours there, showing the, you know, those, those armchair shaped Corries in those upland areas. Again, go down to those U shaped valleys flat bottoms with those ribbon lakes. Right, hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe, because if you don't like and subscribe, I'm gonna keep making videos like this. Keep revising.